All right, so now that we have our Rhino line drawing, we're going to export it to Illustrator. So to do that, you select all the lines you want to export, go to File, and then Export Selected. And then as Save as Type, you pick Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to call this Make 2D and save this. And here you get the um, export to Illustrator export options. So here I want to show you how to preserve the, the model scale. So you can export as a snapshot of the current view, and then it will not export as a scale drawing. But this allows you to add a certain scale to it. So if we want to do one foot equals a quarter inch, you would fill in equal one foot equals 0.25 inch. If you want to do uh, one foot is an eighth of an inch, you can type in 0 0.125. Now, if you don't want to do the math of how much feet, how much one eighth is in decimal or one sixteenth, what you can also do is 16 feet equals one inch. That means you're going to export as one foot equals one sixteenth of an inch, which is the same as saying 16 feet is one inch. So in this case, I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to export this as a quarter scale. So I'm going to put in four feet equals one inch. And we're going to keep all these other options off. I'm going to press OK. And then I'm going to open my file in Illustrator. And you'll see that it opens up as make 2D and between square brackets converted.ai. But this is my drawing here. So I'm going to put this in the bit middle of my artboard. And it came out with the layers reversed. So I'm going to drag them around just so that Illustrator has the lines in the right order. But from here, you can start editing your line drawings. So and us having them split on separate layers is going to make it easy, easier for us to pick off the lines and edit them that way. All right, that's how you export from Rhino to Illustrator.